new tonight, more surveillance video from inside Horizon. Teens clashing with correction officers. 25 COs sustained minor injuries here this week. Now for the first time, we're hearing from a man who works directly with those teens in lockup. They are not the animals that they're being portrayed to be. Antonio Hendrickson is an anti-violence advocate inside the city's jails. He was called into Horizon Wednesday afternoon, right after this gang fight. I was talking to him about, you know, being calm, being cool. Hendrickson believes the move to Horizon will eventually offer new hope after Rikers. Hands down, better conditions. The environment is better, the rooms are better. It's not hot, it's not smelly, it's not um, small, it's not congested. Last year, the state passed major criminal justice reform. It required New York City remove all minors from adult jails by October 1st. But would Horizon be ready? Would it be safe for the teens and the officers? A city council hearing got heated days before the deadline. We are trying to move mountains. I would just hate the worst case scenario that a life is lost because we were not prepared. The transition from Rackers Island to um, the detention facility is going to take a little time. Today, Horizon is staffed by correction officers from Rikers, but over the next 18 months, the Administration for Children's Services will bring in new staffers. They are currently hiring youth development specialists. This is your chance to start a new career that helps kids earn a second chance. Somebody got to come in that they respect, that they trust.